I'm joined now by Regina Pats forward Cole Temple. Cole, it might be hard to believe, but you know, summer's just about come and gone, and now we're a little over a month away until we uh, drop the puck on the regular season. So, you know, as a bit of an update, what's been on the go for you this summer, and what's training been looking like as you're uh, gearing up to, uh, you know, start with the Pats in September? Yeah, you know, I've just been, you know, uh, working out four times a week as well with skating four times a week, just trying to get in that mode to possibly crack the roster. Um, and uh, just trying to get bigger, stronger, eating a lot of food. And yeah. Now for that training regimens, are you focusing on anything in specific or is it more of a full body kind of thing? Um, it's a full body, like lifting weights as well with like um, agility and conditioning and yeah just trying to get ready for camp now this is going to be your 16 year old season which means you can be a full-time player this year you know what excites you about that most and just suiting up with the Regina Pats full-time this year well yeah yeah if I you know if I get the chance to crack the roster I think I'd be really honored to throw on that Pats jersey you know it's a great organization and um, you know it's one of my dreams to play in this league so you know, if I get the chance, I think I'd be really honored and happy to be playing. Now, uh, while this may be your full, full first full season with the Pats, you actually made your debut last season and you, you collected about eight games on, on the way there as well. You know, take me back to that experience and, and you know, how you found out you, you were going to get the uh, call to make your debut and how did that go? Yeah, yeah. I uh, played my first game in um, Moose Jaw for their home opener. I was still with them after preseason and stuff you know I thought it was a good experience to get a feel for the league especially coming into this year you know I know what the you know the league's about the pace and um, yeah I got a few games there which I think will help me a lot coming through here. You you mentioned uh, it helping you a lot and and what would you say is the biggest difference to playing in the WHL versus the leagues you're you're already accustomed to? I'd say mostly just a lot bigger, stronger guys, and the pace is a lot faster than what I was used to. So it was, it took a bit to get, you know, to get a hold of that. And, um, but yeah, it's good. It's a good challenge for sure. Cole, you also got the chance to suit up in a few games with Regina's captain and, and now a prospect of the Chicago Blackhawks, Connor Bedard. You know, what's it like getting to watch practice and be around a guy like Connor? And, you know, what kind of lessons did you learn from him in, in your short time crossing paths with him? Well, yeah, obviously he's crazy. Um, first of all, he, he's the hardest working guy on the team. He's he's out there till the end of practice. He's out there till uh, actually the coaches have to tell him to come off the ice after a practice. Um, he's just shooting pucks and just trying to get better. He, he works so hard. He's, he's always in the gym. And, you know, I think I could – you know, take a little bit from that and uh, try to do the things that he did and get try to get better. Your dad, Jeff, also played in over 150 games in the WHL, both with the Brandon Weekings and Medicine Hat Tigers in the 90s. What was it like having him in your corner as you gear up for your first full season in the WHL? But also, you know, when you got drafted uh, last summer, not this summer, but the summer before, and and just what kind of advice has he been giving you since then? Yeah, you know, he's he's my biggest role model for sure. You know, he's been through this league and he's played lots of hockey growing up. So, you know, he tries to give me some some pointers and uh, just some basic hockey knowledge. And uh, yeah, I've just always looked up to him and um, he was really happy for me. So it's good. Last season, you got the chance to play in your hometown of Brandon. And I assume a lot, lot of family and friends showed up for that game. You know, what was that experience like? Yeah, it was, I had lots of friends and family there, so it was really neat to have them all there watching me at once. And, um, you know, I was pretty nervous coming into that game, especially playing in my hometown, but, you know, I went pretty good and felt good out there. I was, glad, I was happy to see some family after the game as well, so it's good. And this season you'll get a few more cracks at, at a trip down to Brandon too. Have you already circled those games in your calendar? And I guess... As a follow up to that, are there any other games that you uh, you're already looking forward to this season? Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. I have those, you know, if I get the chance to play in those games, like, yeah, for sure. I would I have those ones circled for sure. But um, I'm just excited for every game. But those ones are definitely special for me. Yeah. 
Now, you played in front of a home crowd at the Brandt Centre a handful of times last season. What can you tell me about the Pats fan base and what excites you most about playing in front of them this season? Yeah, um, that building gets really loud when there's lots of people there and there's lots of passionate fans that um, I have seen from either playing in there or just being scratched and seeing, you know, there's lots of loud cheering and yeah, they get, they get pretty wild up during the games for sure. Now to wrap things up here and for our WHL audience who might not know who Cole Temple is just yet, can you tell me a little bit about your play style on the ice and what kind of strengths do you bring to the Pats organization? Um, You know, I think I bring, you know, strong edges, good skating. Um, You know, I'm not a big guy but I can skate really well. I can shoot the puck and uh, sometimes find the back of the net. And is there a player in the WHL currently that you like to model your game after or kind of take what they do on the ice and, and try and, you know, bring that to your own style of play? Um, no, I don't think there's a certain player in the WHL that I really try to uh, model my game after, but um, there's for sure some that I really like watching and that, Uh, I think play like me so or I try to play like them.